Welcome to Whiteboard Project Management. This is Roman with you. And in today's episode, I will explain how to effectively make use of Friday's afternoon. Grab your cup of coffee and let's start the session. Friday afternoons, most of the people think that it's out of work and we are ready. The weekend is started, so we are not going to take any benefits of this Friday afternoon. And most of the team or most of people think that Friday afternoon we are not working anymore and whatever it comes, we are postponing it for the next week. So why shall we do this work on Friday afternoon? Okay, I will do it next Monday, next Thursday. Now, I will explain to you how to make benefit of this Friday afternoon and how to make it most effective. Let's take the example on the whiteboard. So I will make a timeline here where you have your week and your weekend stated as Saturday and Sunday. You have two days of weekend where you are out of work. Not all the time, sometimes out of work for office, but you are still working. Okay, so uh, now in some calendars and some uh, regions, you don't have Friday, Sat uh, Sa Saturday, Sunday, you have Friday, Saturday, or you have only Fridays. So I'm considering that Saturday, Sunday is your weekend. Now, this is why it's Friday's afternoon, means that it's last working day in this, this is working week. And Friday is here. Your team is working and you have assigned some tasks to the team during the week. Now you have uh, the team worked here on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, sorry, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, now it's correct. For this, your team were doing some work here, there, maybe here, maybe here, and Friday also, they are supposed to do some work here. So you have a graph of uh, work completed, you have peak and this way. So your team member were completed some tasks on, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, and on Friday. You have also some plan. Now Friday afternoon, Friday in the morning, most of the team is setting um, meetings and everything. Now you have Friday afternoon. And this Friday afternoon, the team thinks that I am now exhausted. I had completed so many tasks and I don't, I'm, I'm out of uh, power anymore. And whatever it comes, whatever the project manager needs, they will shift it on the next week. They will tell you, okay, I will do it. I will do this in Monday, on Monday. I will do this on uh, next Thursday. Can it be correct? You as a project manager, you have under control the milestone of the project. You have the work nominated during this week and you have the forecast for the next week. So you will decide whether it's acceptable or not acceptable. What to do on Friday's afternoon? Now I will tell you. First thing, you need to inform your team and make it clear to everyone that Friday's afternoon is a set of deadline for your progress. Means, if 
you are setting a deadline on Friday's afternoon at 12 all shared data should be updated means if I have a shared table a shared Excel sheet where I have all my procurement or my task updates or whatever change orders everything is on a shared folder where you have the um, change log or the task load or log or or the procurement plan any other project documents where you need your project team to update your project team could be work from different locations uh, every the stakeholders uh, also the your uh, your uh, subcontractors your suppliers everyone you should set for them deadline that everything should be until 12 p.m. maybe earlier maybe 11 but until this time everyone should update the last week progress so the progress here progress of this week should be set over here maximum till this time why 12 o'clock it's the mid of the day we usually go to after uh, to the lunch on 12 o'clock so we are taking everybody take the update here we are taking the lunch and now we are ready back from the lunch and it's Friday afternoon everybody thinks okay I'm now relaxed I sent the progress I updated everything what shall I do you have progress meetings during the week let's say that the progress meeting is set on Wednesday uh, around 10, 10 a.m. so in this Wednesday if it's regular meeting set on every Wednesday so the next Wednesday let's say at 10 on Wednesday you have the next progress and you set the update or the tasks for the team members regularly every Wednesday at 10 in the morning so they know what to do during their week start from Wednesday ends by next Wednesday means the team member knows how, what they have to do during next Monday Tuesday and Wednesday furthermore they had Wednesday and Thursday and Friday from this week at 12 o'clock in the afternoon Friday everything is set everybody had updated the progress everyone has had sent to you the updates you as a project manager it's now time for you you had prepared everything everything is prepared for you and it's your time now to take the, this progress from all the documents and prepare your reports and forecasts even if the client or your top management doesn't require this report from you you need to prepare your own forca forecast to know where you are because you are on the head of the project if at any point of view your top management or your client give a call to you and they tell you tell me the update what what is the progress what is your forecast what are the payment milestones what are the project milestones you need to know immediately and you need to be ready immediately to answer what are those updates so you as a project manager you are spending your time project managers spending your their time in the Fridays afternoon by preparing reports if they don't have the data ready or the progress ready take the phone make a call to the client make a call to your suppliers and request the updates immediately from them don't send emails and wait until they reply they could be out of office 
or they could be on another action and they don't have a time to reply for the emails. Once they see the email, it will be next week. So it's important to take give a calls. Calls regarding the updates and everything. Third, contact your client. This is important. As a project manager, you need to contact your client and see, okay, is everything is okay? If the client needs anything to do, if they have anything urgent, if the client is satisfied with your work and your team members. So you have an impression for the whole week what is going on. Also, Fridays afternoon, the calls are more effective. Why? Because during the week, your client and your suppliers has been busy making things and they, are, they were attending meetings, so they could not have the time to take your call or they could not have the time to complete the task which has been given by call. Then on the Friday afternoon, everybody like, now I completed the tasks and when somebody is taking the call, it's psychological effect that everyone on Fridays, they are ready to take the call and tell you, okay, have a nice weekend at the end and they wish you a nice weekend and everything. So it's a psychological like task or that like psychological uh, effect on people that they are taking calls more positively than during the week. So take a call and everything. Now, important for you as a project manager, the team member, we said that the team members, they think that they completed their tasks and they are ready for the week. Uh, we said here that we have the progress rep, uh, meeting where the team members know what they have to do. So you need also to give call to team members and check the minutes of meeting for this progress report and check with them if they had completed everything because they have work for their week which is different. You have your week here. It's from start from Monday to Monday where you have here Saturday and Sunday. This is the work week while the progress meeting is preferred to be on Wednesday. Why? Because it starts from Wednesday and ends by the next Wednesday. Okay, I will just take Saturday and Sunday from this part, make it as red. And Friday is here. Friday is, is here. And here you are checking with your team members that, okay, you have work planned for your week. And you are telling, okay, what are those tasks? Are they ha has been com ha completed or not? So you are checking your team members and you should go to your team member physically. This is very effective. Go to them physically. Don't send emails only or don't only take calls. Calls could be for team members, could be like a second option if they are away from you for a reason that they are working from different building, from different lo region, location and whatever. But it's better and more effective. Take some time, afternoon, like one o'clock, and go to your team member. Ask him, how is everything goes on? Five minutes, two minutes, okay? The key members who works for your, for your team, is everything is okay? Uh, have they have some problems and whatever? Maybe you can chat for one or two minutes 
for some personal uh, personal things or what they what they are going to do and during the week to make the connections and then you remind them okay please tell me what you plan now or what is the progress for the next uh, week tasks are you doing something yes please do it where you when you are planning to to leave home maybe you can send it also before you leave so it makes like uh, ignition to the team member to start cooperating and start doing the work don't let the team member alone because they will think okay it's two hours and I'm leaving so sorry I will not do it today sorry but this cannot be accepted because you are paid for those two hours and you need to be progress to, to me to be the progress need to be done and you need to be productive so I'm not expecting that during the last two hours in your uh, before the, your weekend starts to be less productive so make the motivation to the team cooperate with the team make make physical face-to-face -face, uh, connections if if it's possible if it's not possible by calls by by uh, um, zoom or microsoft teams meeting or skype meetings or whatsapp meetings i mean video calls will be more effective hope that this is the scenario of friday's afternoon and you need you need to set a plan also for the next week so friday's afternoon are challenged for project managers make the progress always goes up and don't let the progress afternoon and fridays drop down this will affect your project progress thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next episode